Josephine Wants to Dance, written by Jackie French and Bruce Watley. Read to you by Miss Keating. Josephine loved to dance. She bounced with the brogues and leapt with the lyrebirds. Kangaroos don't dance, Josephine, said a little brother Joey. They hop. But Josephine took no notice. The emu showed her how to point her toes. The eagles taught her how to soar to the music of the wind. Josephine whirled like the clouds across the gully. She swayed with the branches in the trees. But she still dreamt of somehow finding another way to dance. There has to be something more, said Josephine wistfully as she danced across her brother. Kangaroos don't dance, Josephine, yelled Joey, ducking his head. They jump! But Josephine kept on dancing. The next day, Josephine found posters stuck on the trees. The ballet was coming to Shaggy Gully. That's how I'd like to dance, cried Josephine. In a pink tutu with silk ballet shoes. Get real, said Joey. Kangaroos don't wear tutus, Josephine, and they never wear silk ballet shoes. I'm going to, said Josephine, pointing her toes. A week later, Josephine sneaked into town. She crept over to the hall and peered through the windows as the dancers rehearsed. Oh, cried Josephine. She watched the dances for hours. Then she practiced at night, all alone. She spun, she swirled, she pirouetted, and at the end she always curtsied. I am becoming a real dancer now, thought Josephine. The day of the first performance arrived, but the ballet company was in trouble. Ow! shrieked the prima ballerina as she twisted her ankle. Oh! sobbed the understudy as she found a splinter in her toe. Who will dance the lead role? cried the ballet director. Who else can leap so high? Josephine jumped through the window and onto the stage. A kangaroo! yelled the dancers. There's a kangaroo on the stage! Josephine pointed her toes. She tossed her head. She swayed like the lyrebirds as they called to their sweethearts. She soared like an eagle through the sky. A dancing kangaroo, everyone cried. Who ever heard of a dancing kangaroo? Josephine swirled above the stage like the mist playing with the moon. The director stared at Josephine. Finally, she smiled. Well, this kangaroo can dance and she knows the lead role and she can jump higher than any other dancer I've seen. The director took Josephine to the wardrobe department. A kangaroo, exclaimed the costume designer. I can't dress a kangaroo. Just do your best, the director told him. The costume designer quickly altered a tutu for Josephine. He stretched some ballet shoes too. They were probably the longest ballet shoes in the world. At last it was time for the performance. The audience took their seats. The orchestra turned up. Josephine stood backstage, waiting for the music to begin. Josephine! hissed Joey through the window. What are you doing? Come back to the bush at once! No, said Josephine. I'm going to dance in a pink tutu with silk ballet shoes. I'm going to jump higher than any other dancer in the world. The lights dimmed. The orchestra started playing. The curtains opened. The performance began. The ballerinas fluttered onto the stage. One, two, three, four... And Josephine. Someone in the audience giggled. <laughs> it's a kangaroo. Then Josephine began to dance. She twirled through the air like leaves in a whirlwind. She leapt like no dancer had ever before. And at the end, she curtsied like the brogues bowing to the sun. The audience was silent. And then they clapped. And then they cheered. This kangaroo is a dancer, they cried. A truly magnificent dancer. Josephine was still curtsying when the ballet director brought bunches of roses onto the stage. Roses are delicious, decided Josephine. And I'm finally a dancer. It's fun. In fact, dancing looked like so much fun that soon all the audience were bounding and bouncing and prancing and pouncing, bumping and jumping and leaping and thumping swishing and swirling and twinkle toe twirling but nobody ever danced quite like josephine